Hello YouTube, I am Nerd, and welcome to the Kingdom of Nerd. Hello YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you've ever been in here, then welcome in. Hopefully you like what you see and you subscribe. If not, then welcome back, and hopefully you enjoy what you see in this next video. So, earlier today, it was Doctor Who Day, Doctor Who Comic Day. So, I went to White Mountain Comics to see what I could get. Or what was... Let me rephrase that. I'm not huge on Doctor Who, but that's my own fault because I haven't had the time to start watching it yet. So, I got a couple, couple things to kind of get me started on it, but that's not why I'm here. Today... I am here to make a video because I asked Tom if there was anything that was kind of new that I might be interested in. So he pointed me in the direction of a comic called Rapid City Below Zero. So I got number one. So I'm going to go read it, we'll talk about it, and then I'll chat a little bit more at the end because I contacted them about the comic. So let me go read it. I'll be right back. All right, so I read the comic. It's very good. It's short, sweet, and gets to the point. So basically, you're following a group of villains, and their names are Black Flag, The Cut, and there is Coil. Uh, pile driver, icicle, and claw hammer. Um, they're going to steal a crown, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, an ancient and mysterious crown. So it opens up with um, icicle and pile driver. They're a couple, and they're talking about. Once this job's done, they're going to get away, do their own thing. And uh, so it, it starts right up from when they're getting away with the crown. So Coil tells him to go ahead. He's going to take care of the rest of the guards. The rest of them just need to go. He'll meet up with them. So they're digging a tunnel underground. Uh, one of them, I think it's Pile Driver, if I'm not mistaken, from the pictures. I could be wrong. But um, it seems like Pile Driver is blasting them into the ground. They're going down, and they want to look at the crown. They're 20 yards underground. They go to look at the crown, and they find out that Coil had changed out the crown with a bomb. So then, and I love the picture that they put. They're talking, and they're flipping out, and all of a sudden you just see boom. So the bomb blows up. They wake up, and it looks like Clawhammer and Icicle are the only two that survive. The rest of them die, except and Coil's not there. So technically, three of the people that I named in the beginning were alive. Coil's off doing his own thing with the crown. Icicle survived, and it looks like Clawhammer. Clawhammer is the big, friggin' huge guy. Icicle is the girl. So, right after all that happens and Clawhammer kind of snaps her back into it and goes, we need to get out of here or we're going to die too. It goes into her backstory a little bit on how she kind of got with the group that went to go steal the crown. And it starts when she's a little kid and it moves up. I'm not going to go into super detail because then it gives you a reason to buy the comic. I think you should buy it regardless of how much I talk about it because it's really, really good. Um, and I love the fact that the cover is in color, the back, which shows the, the next one, is in color, but the whole inside is black and white. I, I don't normally go for comics like this, but I love the way that they portrayed everything. I think the black and white just makes the pictures pop better um, for the way that they told this story. So anyways, 
kid, she uh, there's an event that happens. I'm I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. I'm gonna talk about the main part of the story. I won't go into the backstory so that if you get the comic, you can read it and it fills you in. It I'm gonna allure you to want to grab the comic, um, or at least go on and read it because I'll explain that at the end of this too. So. It shows her uh, as a kid, once she gets into being a teenager, um, she gets shipped to almost like an asylum, and they do some tests on her, and they, f they figure out um, that she has powers. So she gets locked in a unit with a bunch of girls that have powers. They never really go into detail in this one on what the other girl's powers are, but Icicles is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it doesn't show too much of her powers, but she can basically freeze her body, almost like Iceman, kind of. But, um, like, I think I think that's what saved her from the blast, because once you see her right after the blast, she's covered in ice. Um, and it looks to me like... Uh, oh, what the hell was his name? Claw... Clawhammer. It looks to me like Clawhammer is just so hulking that he didn't take much of the blast. And if he did, he isn't showing it because to get out, he's punching holes in the earth and she's freezing around it so it doesn't cave in. So that's how they're tunneling up. He's just punching holes. And it's like, they're supposed to be bad guys, but He's a badass. She's kind of given up on life because her boyfriend died. Pile driver. So he, eventually he starts carrying her up the hole. Um, eventually they they get out into this... Like, he finds where there's concrete. He breaks through and... and uh, he... They crawl out and... Towards the end of her memories of how she got with the group... She found the group through that... Um, prison type asylum thing so that's how she met uh, pile driver because it shows her and him sitting together and then it cuts to them all running and it looks like that's just about when the group got together it shows her kissing him them talking about getting out of the business and you know doing their own thing and then uh, she it seems like she died in, in uh, Clawhammer's hands. And he does a little bit of CPR. And he basically just screams at her. And it wakes her up. And uh, my favorite line is, like, she wakes up and she goes, I'm, um, I'm going to. And then it shows her just go, I'm going to kill Coil. And then the next one is her and Piledriver laying next to each other talking about like this time tomorrow we're going to be halfway to uh, Blue Ridge is where they were going to go after this this heist and then uh, the very last one is I'm going to find him and I'm going to kill him and then it shows the team together and then uh, it gives you a little preview of what's to come but um, that's the two right there those are the two that survived the blast. So it makes sense to me now why these two are on the front cover. And I like it when that happens. Like, when you see a cover, you're like, oh, that's interesting. And then you read the story and you know why the cover is the way it is. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit and talk about uh, Rapid City comic as a whole. Um, and obviously... If and when they see this, they can uh, comment down below if I get any of the information wrong. Um, I'm going to read straight from the book, and then I contacted them earlier on Facebook to ask them if I could get the rest of the comics so I could, um, I could continue with this series. Um, and they sent me a link, and they told me to talk about it a little bit, and that was fine. So... Um, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm reading this correctly, um, they are out of Somerville, Mass., which is awesome because I'm originally from Rockland, Mass., so 
knowing that this comic comes out of mass is awesome. Um, they have a Twitter, which I will put the link in the description below. I'm going to put their Facebook page in the description, and then they have a website also that's... Um, I will put in the description where you can read the comics. Um, they also have a kickstart website in that little website. Like it shows the comics, and then right down underneath it is a big letters that says kickstart. If you click it, you can send them money to help them get their next book out. And it, um, you read. You can read all the description. It tells you what the kickstart is about. Um, I, if I'm not mistaken, when he sent me the message, he said there's only a few days left. I think in the website it said maybe four, four days left, give or take, to uh, shoot them some money. Um, I think it's totally worth it. Uh, this comic is awesome. I keep saying um because. I'm so excited to keep reading this comic. And White Mountain Comics, uh, supposedly in a couple months, has them coming up. So I'm really excited to meet them as well to kind of pick their brain about the comic. Um, other than that, I don't have a whole lot more to talk about because I really want to stop this video so I can go read the other comics. So I'm going to leave it on that note. It shows you how excited I am about this. Rapid City Comic, Below Zero, read it. I'm telling you right now, go and read it. So I'm going to leave you on that. I'm going to go read more, make the other videos. So as always, I am Nerd, and welcome to my kingdom.